here? Cool down. Get no. Your calm down. I'm not gonna calm down. Ronnie Ortiz Magro's relationship with his ex fiance and baby mama Jen Harley was fully of tension and fighting. We saw so many arguments lay out between them on Jersey Shore family vacation, but after they split up and Jen stopped appearing on the show, nobody was entirely sure what she was doing. And it turns out that her life has changed so much, it'll leave you absolutely stunned. When we last saw Jen, she and Ronnie had reached a seriously messy point in their relationship. After a ridiculous amount of up and downs, they finally called it quits. But they weren't exactly able to forget each other completely because of a previous incident where Ronnie allegedly caused physical harm to Jen. There was a restraining order in place. That was why Ronnie didn't see their daughter Ariana for months in the first half of 2020. But toward the end of the year, things were surprisingly positive. Jen revealed during an Instagram Q&A that she was still living in Las Vegas and working as a real estate agent. And astonishingly, she and Ronnie were co-parenting really well. She even claimed that she would always love him as a friend, but it didn't take long for their friendship to take a dramatic turn. At the end of 2020, Jen started dating a new guy, Joe Ambersole. Meanwhile, Ronnie had a new girlfriend, Sapphire Matos. At the time, Ronnie mentioned that Jen had met Sapphire and really liked her. But what happened next proved to be a totally different story. Not long after, in January 2020, Jen and Sapphire were unsurprisingly at odds. They both took their sides public and each of their stories sounded so chaotic. Jen claimed that Sapphire had made a fake Instagram account to privately message her boyfriend, Joe. She was also furious that Sapphire had been posting so many public photos of Ariana, but believe it or not, that wasn't even the craziest part of their online feud. Jen also accused Sapphire of sending Joe messages that said he would never see Ariana again. I feel like it's kind of understandable why Jen was so upset over that, but what she did about it was truly unbelievable. Jen believed that Sapphire was acting out partially because she was chasing fame and attention. She completely dragged her all over the internet and talked poorly about her every chance she got. Jen even claimed that Sapphire had done something extremely bizarre. She posted on her Instagram that Ariana had told her a worrisome secret. Allegedly, the toddler had said that Sapphire had bit her. The back and forth arguments went on for months, but then everything took an outrageous turn. After Ronnie was arrested for allegedly causing physical harm to Sapphire in April 2021, the drama with Jen got even more ridiculous. Sapphire accused Jen of harassing her and making fake accounts to bullying her on social media. But it wasn't just the women who were fighting. Ronnie and Joe were also messaging back and forth and arguing. It seemed like every few months, there was a new petty issue that the group was attacking each other about. But soon, Jen and Joe ran into a major problem just between themselves. This was honestly insane. In June 2021, Jen was arrested. She had reportedly physically hurt Joe after consuming many adult beverages. But the thing that made Joe break down and call the cops on Jen is going to absolutely shock you. Allegedly, Jen had also threatened to end Joe's life. What happened next was very welcome news to everyone. The following month, Jen's representative released an interesting statement. Gina Rodriguez told TMZ that Jen had decided to check herself into a rehab center for a 28-day stay. The reason why she had chosen to enter the facility on her own was extraordinary. Jen had supposedly admitted that her substance use issues were out of control, but she was determined to tackle them in order to be the best mom for Ariana. But after she was released from the rehab center, she started posting photos online that were seriously unexpected. Jen and Joe appeared to still be together and stronger than ever. In September 2021, they even went on a romantic vacation together in Rome. That was when speculation started going around that they were incredibly crazy. In a couple of Jen's posts to her Instagram stories at the time, she was wearing a big diamond ring on her left ring finger. She and Joe didn't directly address any of the engagement buzz, but the rumors definitely seemed super possible. But not long after, Jen found herself back in court for a jaw-dropping reason. That November, Ronnie sued Jen over the home they shared together in Las Vegas. Allegedly, Jen hadn't made payments for about six months on the loan that she and Ronnie had taken out together to purchase the house. But that wasn't the only startling accusation. According to Ronnie's lawsuit, Jen had also made several home improvements that he hadn't been told about. Not only that, but she reportedly hadn't paid any of the final bills for the renovations. That led to an extremely serious financial situation. Ronnie claimed that there were multiple liens on the house. He wasn't even sure if Jen was paying the utility bills. So even though she and Ariana were still living in the home, Ronnie asked the court to make a mind-blowing decision. Apparently, Ronnie wanted Jen to legally be forced to put the house up for sale. He wanted to get the money he had put into it back, but Jen's lawyers fired back against the allegations and set the record straight. TMZ heard from Jen's lawyer, Michael Cristalli, that Ronnie and Jen had already tried to settle the issue. Jen had already paid Ronnie his cut of the money and they were in agreement that it was her house, but that wasn't all. Jen had supposedly tried to refinance the house and take Ronnie off the mortgage, but he refused and then filed his lawsuit. Jen and Michael believed that Ronnie was only after money that wasn't his and called out his claims for being totally untrue. Michael revealed that the renovations on the house had been paid and so had all the loan payments and bills. The lawsuit ended up being settled, but Jen and Ronnie's legal troubles were far from over. The next court case they faced was absolutely insane. Just last year, Jen and Ronnie were involved in a crazy 
crazy custody battle, but in October, it finally came to an end. They both were granted joint legal custody of Ariana, but the rest of the judge's rulings were honestly surprising. Jen, who hadn't moved from the house she and Ariana had lived in Las Vegas, had given a little less parenting time than Ronnie. Her visiting with her daughter would be from Friday to Sunday each week. Meanwhile, Ariana would stay with Ronnie the rest of the time in Los Angeles. It sounded like Ariana's primary residence was only listed under Ronnie because she was starting school soon in California. So what Jen and Ronnie decided to do less than two weeks later was seriously shocking. That same month, Ronnie listed his Los Angeles home for sale for $3 million. It seemed weird that he would sell his house right after being granted primary residence of Ariana, but then Jen did something that made everything even more strange. In January of this year, Jen also put her house up for sale. She was selling her Vegas home herself and it was listed with a real estate company she worked for, Realty One. And it turns out the timing of her and Ronnie both trying to sell their houses wasn't a coincidence at all. According to the US Sun, Jen and Ronnie were planning on moving to Miami for a fresh start. Even though they weren't romantically together, they were supposedly co-parenting well. But there was one detail that many people found super alarming. At the end of 2022, Ronnie and Jen were both reportedly single. Ronnie and Sapphire had called off their engagement in July while Jen and Joe had allegedly broken up in the fall. Some people thought that maybe Jen and Ronnie were planning to reconcile their relationship in Miami, but apparently that wasn't the case. Jen and Ronnie supposedly just wanted to live in the same state to make sharing custody of Ariana easier, and Florida made sense to both of them, especially since Ronnie was starting a new shoe business in Miami. But it doesn't look like everything went exactly according to plan. In February, Ronnie finally sold his California home for $2.6 million. He hadn't bought a house in Miami yet, but he was allegedly already living there in a rental. However, Jen's house hadn't sold yet, and the reason why is incredibly puzzling. Jen's Las Vegas home listing was actually removed from Realty One's website in March. And even though she seems to be posting a lot of photos based in Miami, she doesn't appear to have completely left Las Vegas. Jen's LinkedIn profile reveals that she's still working with Realty One in Las Vegas, but she's planning on also getting her real estate license in Florida so she can sell houses in both states. After all, it seems like she has a pretty good reason for staying near Miami. According to both Jen and Joe's Instagram accounts, they're very much back together. And last May, Joe surprisingly used the hashtags, hashtag married and hashtag in one of his photos of the two of them. But even if you're not married, Jen and Joe have been seriously busy together. Judging from both of their social media content, Jen and Joe have been traveling the world together every chance they get. Not only that, but their relationship seems to be better than ever. Jen has shared pictures of her entire happy family in the past year. The photos included a rare cameo from her six-year-old son, Mason, along with Ariana, who's now five years old. Everything appears to be much calmer for Jen now, but maybe there's an unexpected reason for that. Last year, Jen started training like crazy and paired up with official celebrity boxing. She even had her first actual match against Lamar Odom's ex-fiance, Sabrina Parr. Their fight was hyped up for so long and the result was unbelievable. Jen couldn't quite take down Sabrina and she lost the match, but she was still proud of herself and it seems like the sport has been a good outlet for her frustrations. She hasn't announced any other matches lately, but it'll be interesting to see which direction Jen's bizarre life goes in next. It's definitely crazy how much has changed for her since she and Ronnie split because the court cases, arrests, and relationship updates, her life has been an absolute roller coaster. But what do you guys think about all this? What do you think about Jen's relationship with Joe and what allegedly happened between them when she was arrested? And what are your thoughts on where her life is today compared to what we last saw on Jersey Shore? Let me know in the comments below.